So next I'd like to invite the first woman and Asian American to serve as the regional administrator of US General Services Administration for the Great Lakes region. She championed the regional efforts to meet presidential executive order. Federal government physical and carbon footprint, including shrinking the region's office by 24% and saving over a million dollars. Please welcome Honorable Dr. Ann P. Kelly. Uh, thank you so much. I, I really want to congratulate Puno uh, for putting this together because, you know, analytics is really big these days. Right? We have a lot of big data that we're collecting, and yet we are not really sure what to do with it. Um, and that's where you all actually play a, a big role in that. Um, so I'm Ann Kalau. How many of you have heard of GSA, General Services Administration? Oh, good. Okay. Um, and a lot of hands usually go up when I say that. And so you, sir, when you sit in front of the class, this is what happens. So Ivan, tell me what GSA is about. GSA is um, basically puts together a lot of grants and other opportunities for businesses and ones from the federal government and most of the uh, operations. Okay, all right, almost. Yeah, as you probably all know, I used to teach. Um, so this, this, is, this is my uh, mode of uh, operations. What we do is we, we really do real estate, uh, acquisitions and technology and fleet, and we do disposal for the federal government, right? Um, I have a region here in the Great Lakes region. Uh, we manage about 35.8 million square feet of real estate. Um, and we have about four billion dollars of uh, sales that we, you know, that government con government contracts are set up so that agencies can buy through them. So, what am I doing here on a uh, conference uh, or a gathering here on big data? Well, um, we have a huge role. Uh, we work very closely with DJ Patel, who's the uh, the uh, chief data uh, officer for the federal government, who was actually appointed. Uh, earlier this year, so the first time that federal government has a uh, data officer, in other words, someone who's responsible for analytics within federal government. This is what the president realized that when you have multiple systems, as you heard from the alderman as well as from the commissioner here, Pucci, on when you have multiple systems that don't talk to each other, um, you need to be able to make decisions and you need data uh, to be able to drive those decisions. What we did in GSA is we have the uh, Presidential Management Fellows have come together and we put, we put a, a group called 18F. And they're responsible for, uh, not only just for GSA, but for, for also for other agencies, to be able to get systems to talk to each other so that we can actually uh, have data to drive our decisions. In GSA, what we've done is we've created a platform that's called Data to um, decisions, D2D, and we're using that platform to be able to um, use, you know, to, to look at data to be able to use analytics. We use software such as um, Tableau, we use MicroStrategy, STI, and JasperSoft. These are our, actually in our D2D um, analytical tools. So how do we do this? How do, why do we use this? Um, I'll give you an example. We have, um, um, executive orders that we have to meet. And so, particularly in the energy area, we look at data on a daily basis to see how we can actually reduce our energy uh, consumption. So that's something that we've been doing uh, on a very regular basis. We have multiple systems that track, we have VAS systems that actually track information with regards to water, waste diversion, with regards to energy consumption, but they don't, they don't all actually talk to each other. So this is where our data is actually useful so that we can go ahead and tweet. We have VA system data that we look at. Uh, property managers are no longer the property managers that you see uh, maybe a, a decade ago. There's, they are actually uh, looking at data and fine-tuning HVAC systems as well as um, uh, other boilers and chillers and all that. So I just wanted to say that you know in the federal government, we are very active in this area, and we are, um, we're in need of people like yourselves to be able to help us to do, you know, to uh, help us in analytics. We have, we're in, when it comes to HR, when it comes to uh, energy, you know, the area is so wide that um, your, your skill set would be useful. And in order to do business with the federal government, 
you need to look at fedbizops.gov or you actually need to look at uh, going to go on our schedules. But you know, you can reach out to Poonam and she can put you in touch with me and I'd be more than happy uh, to sort of help you all figure out how to do uh, work with the federal government. Think about it, it's a, it's a huge market, uh, but you need to be prepared to be able to do business with the federal government because local government is a little different than federal government. I realize that, it's my first time working in government, period. Uh, but I think once you start, once you get to understand how you can do business with the government, federal government, uh, I think it's well worth it. We need your skills. Um, so one last tip, and that is take a look at challenge.gov. We, um, we post, sort of agencies post opportunities there, so it's not, you know, it's sort of like quick on how to help us solve things, so challenge.gov. And dataanalytics.gsa.gov is a, is a website that's useful for us to see how actually better serve uh, the American people. It gives us all our website is done. So thank you very much. I hope you all have a, I know this is going to be a fantastic event, and I know that you're all going to be uh, really uh, happy that you came here, because this is a platform where you can actually connect to each other and to be able to um, uh, get work done in this, in this area. So thank you. Thank you, Sam. Take a better picture of the car. Uh, <laughs>